Mickey, thanks for joining us. A good afternoon's work from the team. Yeah, it's a big three points. We uh, we needed a reaction after last weekend, and um, I think we got one today. It's obviously positive that um, we got the three points, but I think the most important thing is the clean sheet again. Look, that's, I think it's the second of the, the league this year, so um, we know if we want to do something, we need to build on that, and hopefully that starts today. Are you confident that you can do something this season when you've looked at it now, yeah, 13 well, games gone, we'll fourth take, in the table? We'll take every game as it comes. I think that's the most important thing. We can't, what, you can't look ahead of yourselves, because if you do that, you start to be taking your eye off the ball for that next game that comes along. So... Look, we'll, um, we know we're a good squad. When we, when we play to our strengths, we know we're a good squad. So hopefully we can, we can do that more often than not and we'll see what happens. I know we've, they finished with nine men in the end in the closing minutes, but ten men, it's still difficult to get over the line, isn't yeah, it? You it have is. to play properly. Yeah, massively. You saw that at Wrexham. Mm -hmm. I think when they went down to ten men, I think it changed the game massively. Look, we, um, we changed the way we played against them. We had to try and go round them and try, and for, try not to force things through Wrexham. So I think we learnt from that today. Um, obviously, when they went down to 10 men, we, we allowed ourselves a little bit more time to, to keep the ball and stay patient with it. And uh, I think it worked. We still created chances, whereas against Wrexham, we probably didn't create that many chances against 10 men. But I think when you go down, when you go down against a team against 10 men, we, it's harder. They sit up, they shut up shop, they sit back in their banks of four, uh, defensive four and a midfield four and one striker just running around. It's harder to break through. So um, we had to learn from that, and, and I think we did. And um, it could have been three or four today. How important was it as a, as a team that you were on the front foot from the beginning? We talk about your goal that yep. came in the early stages and on the front foot in the second half from the beginning. Yeah, that's the most important thing. We're, we're a much better team when we're on the front foot. When we've learned that from, this, from the 13 games that we've had. We, we play and dominate more games when we play on that front foot. If we, if we sit back, I think we invite teams on us and it's harder to play the way we want to play. So um, obviously we saw that from the first half, but I think we could have scored 10 seconds into the first second half. So for us to do that, it just gets us on that front foot. It gets them obviously thinking about, or well, they've come out, they're a little bit, they're on it still. They're not, they're not sitting on the win, on the goals that they've got. They want more on it. I think we, we need to learn that and we need to start putting more chances away to, to finish games off a little bit sooner. Well, you got the scoring underway. We got a great view. Of it. it was one of those that we could call if you got it right with your connection. Yeah, it exactly. Was when the I, ball was perfect, wasn't it? It was. It was a great ball from Jack. I, I think we went short to start with and I just saw Jack waiting for someone to make a move to put the ball in and, um, and thankfully I, I was able to get on the end of it and I knew if I made good contact. I thought maybe the keeper may have come out for it and maybe took my head off with his gloves, but uh, thankfully he stayed on his line and um, I knew if I made good contact with it, it, was, it should have been a goal. I would have been very disappointed if it didn't go in if I, if I did because obviously I backed myself to score if, in those chances. So it was nice to get another goal. Um, but then, like I said before, the most important thing is the clean sheet because we knew if we kept a clean sheet after that, when we win the game. So we're going to win more games than not if, we, if we're able to do that and thankfully we were. Talk us through the second goal. Is that something that was worked out on the training ground? Jack Powell said... Apparently, yeah. The manager apparently said it was. taking a bit of a, <laughs> so, a bit of credit. Uh, yeah, we obviously it was. Uh, I was telling Tabs to have it maybe because the the wall was set up for a, for a lefty around the wall, and then when the new keeper came on, the wall was set up for a right right foot around the wall. So I told Jack to have a have a shot, and um, he said, "No, no, we've we've worked on something." We were, um, so I, I didn't see him do it. So I, I'll trust him, and um, I just went and stood in the middle of the pitch and hoped that something came off. And uh, thankfully, Longy, when Longy connects with the ball, there's not many keepers that can save it. So uh, thankfully, he did, and he deserved his goal. Well, that's five for the season for you. I've just been looking at it. You've scored a few more in one season a few seasons ago. But you, five, yeah, my, in, five in 13, yeah. No, my, my, I think my most seven. Are you telling the forwards all that? that no, <laughs> look, no they, they do enough work on the pitch. They don't need me saying hurry up and score a few more. So, no, they, it's nice for everyone can spread. I think, what is it, 13 different goal scorers this year. And that's a sign of a good team. We're not relying on our forwards to do it because at the end of the day, we have to back them up. It's not down to them to score the goals all the time. We have to, we pride ourselves to maybe at set pieces, get on the end of them as well. And thankfully, a few of us have been doing it.